Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Professor, a crowdfunded, crowd-driven feature where we respond to your questions and sometimes comments on everything from history to political philosophy, culture, theology, all those things that matter to us in our effort to live the good life together as citizens. And today's comes in the form of a comment on a YouTube video from a user called Call Me Mum. Okay, hi mum. And it's a comment on the question of where to start with G.K. Chesterton. She says, the man who was Thursday was interesting. I'll say it is. Almost everything that Chesterton writes is interesting. But The Man Who Was Thursday is particularly intriguing. It's one of his more successful novels. As I think I've commented, dare I criticize the great GKC, sometimes to me in his fiction the characters are more two-dimensional walking representations of ideas than they are fully-fledged human beings. But The Man Who Was Thursday I do very much recommend because it's the story of somebody who's infiltrating a secret society of evildoers, or so he thinks, only to discover that apparently all the other members are doing the same thing, and that every single one of them is actually a good guy. And it's a complicated metaphor, and I frequently, in reading the story, find myself shaking my head and thinking, I, I was pretty sure I understood what the author was telling me, and suddenly I think I must be a total dunce and I've missed it. I better go back and try this again. Another way of saying it's a book that repays rereading. But it's a profound commentary on the question of how to relate to our fellows when we are just about all trying to do good, but we're all flawed human beings. Of course, in Chesterton's understanding, and mine as a Christian, we're all sinners. And therefore, our attempts to do good frequently are somewhat bent, and they are tainted by egotism. They are tainted by uh, all kinds of weaknesses that cause us to fall away, sometimes even knowingly to fall away from what we're meant to be doing. But as with all Chesterton's work, it is in the end profoundly hopeful. It is a vision of how we might try to be better human beings and, by the grace of God, actually succeed. So there's all kinds of places you could start with G.K. Chesterton, but one of the places you should certainly get to at some point is indeed The Man Who Was Thursday. So thanks for that observation. Call me mum. If you're enjoying Ask the Professor and you want it to continue, there are two things you can do for me. First of all, we're dependent upon your questions and comments, so this URL tells you how to submit one. Secondly, if you value this and my other work and you want to help me continue to produce it, click here. Go to the spot on my webpage where you can become a one-time or a monthly patron so that I can continue the work that I do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.